Uh, okay, last question, guys, and then we're going to wrap it up a little bit early, which is fine. Um, this says, how will the Google privacy sandbox affect SEO and ads? And what is your take on the upcoming changes? You know, I, I don't know yet as far as the, um, if you're talking about like, because of like privacy concerns with audience targeting and, and interest-based targeting and stuff like that. Um, I don't think that that's going to affect Google as much as it has Facebook, Facebook, you're already starting to see, and I don't do Facebook ads. Okay. But I know enough people, obviously that I'm colleagues and such that do to know that Facebook is already experiencing a lot of um, problems with ads and stuff because of their privacy concerns. And uh, what Apple, I guess now stopped reporting back to Facebook, which is, was a huge hit to them. Um, John Belter, I think his name is, he's got a, a, a great, let me see if I can pull this up. Cause this is something you should, um, I think it's John T. Belcher, uh, The Death of Pixels, I think is the name of the, yeah, right there. Okay, so this guy's, I would go check this out. There's a, he's got a free course. Um, this might actually, yeah, I'm already, it looks like I'm still logged into this course because I started going through the training. Um, it's a free course called The Death of Pixels. Let me grab, let me see if this is the, share URL because it's probably not. Yeah, it is. Okay, cool. I'm going to copy that and paste it on the page. So if you go through that, uh, you know, it, it makes a lot of sense. A lot of it has to do with attribution. Um, if you do what they call server to server attribution and set all that kind of tracking up conversion tracking and everything up, then you can still, you can still have the sort of uh, audiences and, you know, interest base and uh, behavioral based targeting and all that kind of stuff that you're, you, you've probably grown used to, but you have to set that stuff up on your side and you have to be real careful about like how you handle the data and all that kind of stuff. Um, because it, you know, you can get in trouble if you don't do it correctly and uh, all that kind of stuff. So I would highly encourage you to go check that out. Um, as, as I was saying, I, I think it's more affecting like Facebook now than it is Google. Um, I don't even know if it's affecting Google, to be honest with you, this kind of stuff. So, um, he does Bradley. That's why he asked for the Google privacy sandbox. Like, uh, from what I know, um, they're pretty much doing the same on Chrome, like Zoom. what Apple did. Yeah. But what I'm saying is with tag manager, it's like server to server conversion tracking. It's, you know, Facebook doesn't give that to you, but Google does through Tag Manager is what I'm saying. So it's different. And also if you're using Google, uh, Google Analytics 4. Um, not, because like Facebook has like Convergence API, which is exactly the same as server to server tracking. Okay. Well, again, I don't do Facebook ads, so I, I don't know any of that shit. But I know that there's a lot of people whining in Facebook about Facebook ads and how they're yeah, we all know how this is sucks. and why this is. Like, it's pretty much pushed up by marketing people to sell you um, more stuff. And also, there's like the war between Apple and Facebook. It's just like all the media that is pushing it. Like, reality is, it's like almost no impact, in my opinion. Like, yeah, it things change a bit how you're doing it, but uh, <laughs> you gotta realize all the big companies they got the data already, right? So they are not, there is no law, like there are no changes that they're going to abandon the data. It's just a little bit, a bit of uh, fresh data that uh, they're getting into their systems is a bit restricted. And at the same time, they got your email addresses. They got all those things right now. Plus they got fingerprint matchups and an end that like, I don't think many people are talking about. So um, sounds like you've got a course that you need to produce there, Chris. <laughs> Well, it depends if, uh, <laughs> if if it pays well enough. Like right now, like I didn't have enough uh, requests for anything, but that could be an option here, yeah, definitely. Well, there you go. Next time you have a question about uh, conversion tracking and privacy, uh, you know, address that one to Chris and should be good to go then. <laughs> <laughs> sure thing. That's why I'm here. <laughs>